Hi, I'm Ms. Dyer, and I work with students whose last names begin with the letters S through Z here at Finley High School. And today I'm going to talk to you about transcripts. Um, a high school transcript is something that students get that tells you all the courses that you've taken, what grade you got in those courses throughout high school, and what credit you got if you earned a credit. Um, it, it totals up all of your credits so you know what the total is and also it can also have your ACT scores on there, um, some attendance records on there. It's basically just a snapshot of everything that you've done in high school as far as academics are concerned. Um, so I'm going to share with you a screen that talks about ordering your, ordering your transcripts. Um, the Finley, Finley High School uses Parchment, it's an app, to process all student transcripts. So if you were to go onto the FHS homepage and click on Counseling and Academics, um, you could scroll down and then on the right hand side, there is um, something that says Order Transcripts, question mark, um, or it could say there's like a little icon for Parchment, which is what we use. Um, when you get into Parchment, when you click on it, you want to select New Learner if you've never ordered through Parchment, or if you have ordered through Parchment before, you want to select Existing Learner. Um, and you may have already done this, but this is going to be very important for those seniors who need to send their transcripts to colleges. Um, also for different scholarships, sometimes they ask for your transcripts. And also, even for the underclassmen, it is good for you to um, see, you know, what's happening in your courses and maybe plan for what you need to take in future years. Um, so anyway, you're going to go proceed through all the necessary steps that it asks you to do. Um, a tip is you want to typically waive rights um, so that way you can see everything that you need to see. Um, your last year attended will be the year you will graduate from high school. So like this year's seniors, obviously, their last year attended is going to be 2022. Um, you might want to use an email account that you will have access to after graduation because a lot of times students need to get their transcripts once they've already graduated. And usually pretty soon after graduation is when they inactivate the um, FCS emails. So anyway, um, you will be emailed a confirmation code and then you need to go in and enter the confirmation code and then you can order transcripts. Um, you can order transcripts to be sent to a college. So you put the college address in there. They can also be sent to individuals um, email and it's all electronic copies which makes it more official and also makes it more efficient. Most places these days do accept electronic copies and prefer that way of sending transcripts. Um, but you are able, the student is able to order transcripts all for free um, through their, while they're still here. Once they graduate um, after several months, I think there is a slight fee to be able to do that. So you want to order your transcripts as much as possible. The other thing that you can do is also email yourself your transcript. So that way you have a record that you're looking at. Um, it also tells you what your GPA is, which is important. And for seniors, it will say what their rank is, how many students are in the class of 2022 and your rank amongst those students. So a lot of times college applications and other applications will ask for that. So hopefully that is helpful to you. Um, when you look at the slideshow, there is this um, link right here, need to request a transcript, and then it goes right to parchment and right where you need to go, existing user or new learner account. So it's very, um, easy to do once you know where to go to find it. So, thank you. Even if a college asks you to ask your counselor to send a transcript or um, a scholarship agency or um, an individual asks you to ask your counselor to send a, a transcript, we actually don't, most of the time, do not even do that because 
the students can do it on their own through parchment and that is a more secure way of doing it also so um, just go to parchment to do all that those things the only exception to that would be through the common app which somebody is going to talk about during this presentation and through common apps college or high school seniors um, the counselors on their end of things will upload your transcript but if you're doing individual colleges um, that usually ask for you to send your transcript i know for like ccp classes a lot of times the schools will ask you to send your transcript